So if we look at the Avengers Endgame opening, specifically from the spa with the Marvel Studios logo, we see the characters that were decimated as part of the snap. And Marvel takes that viral marketing to a whole new genius level to get people talking about it even more. Now obviously characters from the Guardians universe, Spider-Man, you know, Black Panther, they were snapped away. And from what they want us to believe is that these characters are dead. We know this is comic books. Things are obviously going to play out differently. We know Spider-Man's already returning in his own sequel, so take it for what you will, but clearly they want us to believe that these characters are gone. So Marvel Studios has decided to take a pretty risky gamble with this, um, honestly. And normally how they do this is when something new releases, you know, like the Avengers Endgame official trailer and the spot, all the face, you know, all the pages share it. Uh, you know, from Doctor Strange to something like Captain Marvel to Spider-Man to the Avengers page to Iron Man, you know, they, they end up sharing it. So it gets everywhere to whoever's liked every page. With this, they've taken on the marketing slightly differently as the pages of the characters that were decimated are not being used to market this movie because they're dead, right? And honestly, this is one of those viral marketing things that just is genius when you think about it, right? Because these pages are laying dormant. And that's honestly really smart because it gets people talking about them more. But at the same time, it's a little risky because there are people who like the Ant-Man page that might not have liked the Doctor Strange page or Doctor Strange fans that haven't liked Black Panther or something, right? So there is that weird disconnect there where some of them aren't sharing it. And there is some people, I know it's hard to believe when you're in the community, that only watch certain characters. I know people that only watched Ant-Man and that's the only movie they really care about. They're just like, oh, I'll see the movies with Ant-Man. I don't care about Black Panther or Doctor Strange or whatever, Captain America. And I'm just like, strange choices, but okay. So it's a weird marketing technique, but I think it's one that's gonna pay off and work for them. And it really kind of shows that they're aware of the buzz online, which is honestly quite genius by them.